today on The Real. Oh, they know what's up. Please give it up. Moment ever. ever. Oh my god! Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? This is like my kind of show. It's called The Real. for our show because you guys Jennifer Lopez is here! Yes. Look at her. We even brought out the good china, you guys. I know. I know. Okay, you guys, get this. She is taking over the reel for the entire day. Now, you guys know that Jennifer Lopez is literally my idol. I personally think that Jennifer is one of the most incredible entertainers of our time. Yes. And she's a woman who has paved the way for, you could blot it's all good. Yes. <laughs> So many people and so many Latinas like myself. I've literally loved and admired JLo, you guys, uh, my entire life. Uh, you know, as a young Boricua girl growing up in the Lower East Side of New York, um, she just was like this iconic person that reminded all of us anything is possible, you can do it too. She was the first person I saw on TV that I was like, she that I could be that. So that I'm awesome. so excited. And we're actually going to be talking to Jennifer later on in Girl Chat about what's going on in her life and also her hit show, you guys, on NBC, Shades of Blue. I'm obsessed oh, with this show. Yes. Yes. So Such an amazing so show. Awesome. Amazing. Such awesome. a good show. Such a good show. I love <laughs> it. All right, but you guys, who's ready for some Girl Chat? Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So ready. First up. Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback Jameis Winston recently got into some hot water for what many allege are sexist comments he made to a fifth grade, a fifth grade class in St. Petersburg's St. Peter's Petersburg. I'm just so happy for J-Lo. St. Petersburg, <laughs> Florida. Yeah. Now Winston said that his comments were simply poor word choices that overshadowed the positive message he was trying to get across. Now, the question I'm gonna give to you ladies, do you feel that a lot of people nowadays share outdated views like Winston does on gender roles? Absolutely, yeah. sadly. I mean, granted, we're like, hello, yeah, it's 2017. Not They're not 23. Exactly, I think they're that's what seven. shocked me. I think that's what shocked me the most because he was so young. Yeah, he's a millennial. So the first thing I think of is, where did he learn this from? Mm -hmm. Do you right. see what I'm saying? Is this something that he grew up in? What was his household like? I mean, that definitely doesn't make it okay, but I wanna know what his mama thinks about that yeah. comment. Right? How about that? Yeah. I mean, if we're gonna keep it real, she probably Think maybe was an example of that to yeah. him, and maybe that's what he knows. I mean, it still happens till this day. Yeah. I mean, just recently, uh, Iz got a text message from a guy, actually a pastor, and um, I didn't like what the text message said. Now, I'm not gonna lie, maybe it's the Puerto Rican New York in me, I'm about that life, and okay. I was like, call him up right now. I wanna speak to this yeah. man. Now, Iz is a man, and you know, men, you guys a lot of the time brush things off. I was being petty Betty. I had an extra 30 minutes in my day to kill. And I was like, <laughs> I wanna talk to him. And when we called this man, he pretty much said he would not speak to me because I was a woman. <gasps> really? Yes, he said, Iz, you are the man, you should handle your wife and have this conversation with me. What did and I was like, do? What was his He issue? was like, nah, my wife wants to holla at you and let you know that she's about that life. I had an opinion, I had something to say. I love that I'm married to a man that applauds that, that applauds yeah. that I have a voice. And if we're being real, if keeping it real, he didn't care about 
what it was that I had to say. He kind of was like, babe, you taking this overboard. And I was yeah. like, no, I have something to say. <laughs> and he was like, well then, baby, go on and say it. Yeah. And I love that. Yeah. And it was just kind of crazy to me that he was married and he actually tried to put his wife on the phone. And, and the woman was like, you don't have a, so you can't speak to my husband. <gasps> like, we have to speak on different levels. Like, men should speak to it's, men, and right, only women yeah. should speak to women. And you're right about what you said, where it can start in the household. I don't doubt that somewhere in his childhood, yeah. mm -hmm. he saw women, women reflecting that, and maybe yes. some men celebrating that thinking. Mm -hmm. So he's only saying what has been ingrained in him. But so I'm sad. so thankful, because when I was growing up, the Asian community thinks this way, uh, uh, some of the Asian community think this right. way about women. So I was always, like, very tomboyish, very outspoken. And the other aunts and women in my family, they would say, Gong Dang Wang Li, which means like, be proper. Like, sit with your legs Pipe closed. down. Stop, yeah, stop being so loud and, and, and don't always have to share I your opinion. I could be in your family. That's what I'm <laughs> saying, yeah. <laughs> but I'm so thankful that my mom, my mom taught me, if you feel something on your spirit to mm -hmm. say, let it be known. If you feel like you got a song on your heart, you better dance. And because of her, yeah. I'm here on this show. Yeah, my spirit has a lot That's to right. say. You know? That's right. <laughs> um, it seems like, you know, some people feel in 2017 that, you know, women can't be a president or a ghostbuster. Yo. I don't know what. <laughs> yes. it's like, I just think it's corny. Am I the only one that thinks it's super corny? It's backwards corny? thinking. Women are yes. doing it, especially in this country. I mean, we have a woman that we're bringing on today that shows you that yes. women don't sit down and just be yes. quiet. We no. are doing right. it. And we yes. ain't so money. Yes. Listen to this. Remember the Spice Girls and their hit song, Wannabe? Everybody yes, yes, of course. Damn. Well, Reddit.com recently asked their readers to tell them what 90s thing they really, really want to make a comeback. <laughs> Answers ranged from toys and cereal boxes. Remember that at the bottom? Yes, right? I loved that. And Beanie Babies. Anybody remember Beanie yes. Babies? Yes. They were, they were collectibles. Oh so, to actually, how about this, y'all? Picking up the phone to call somebody instead of texting. What about that good old day? I don't want to write that back. No? Oh, yes, I do. So, ladies, <laughs> what thing from the 90s do you think should make a comeback? The oh. Thigh Master. Oh, what? my God. Remember the Thigh Master? Yes. Did it do anything? <laughs> Did it do anything? Yes, girl, he mastered your thighs. He mastered your thighs. I tried it. But, uh, ah. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Suzanne Summer had me sold, man. Yes, Those eyes did. were amazing. Mm -hmm. I, do you guys, okay, I don't want to bring back pagers, but do you remember pager codes? Oh, yes. Yes. Yo, do you remember when someone sent you 143, your heart would be like you. this? Oh. Yes. You can still do that on text messages. I know, but it was so to. special <laughs> then. Does anybody remember TRL? Yes. And like oh, Total Request I Live and show. music countdown shows. Like, send me to Times Square with a poster and be like, right. yes, Backstreet. Yes. Yes. But like, I wish the boy girls and the and the guy bands would, like the boy bands and the girl bands would come back. Yeah. That was an awesome True. time yes. in music. Yes. Yeah. I Were you an that. NSYNC girl or a Backstreet Boys girl? I was actually a Backstreet Boy girl. I love the okay. little harmony. I got one, even though it's late, late, like it's right early 2000s. Who? That sexy, silky chiffon green Versace dress that J-Lo wore for the Grammys. Does anybody remember? Bring it back. Oh, that yes. was everything. I you remember? Love that. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, she remembers. We all remember. <laughs> well, we have to take a break, but come back, because guess what? We will have the one and only Jennifer Lopez joining us. I think very girl chat table. I'm so excited. Our next guest is a multi-talented People's Choice Award winner for her role as Harley Santos on Shades of Blue. She's also a dancer, producer, mother, and fashion icon. She's been entertaining us ever since her days as a fly girl on the hit sketch comedy show In Live in Color. Oh my gosh! Wow! But no matter how successful she is, she keeps it down to earth by reminding us all she's just Jenny from the block. Hey! Please give it up! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Yeah. So cool. yeah. I, yes. I, I 
I can't even believe that you're here. This is like my kind of show. It's called The Real. Yes! yes! Good. And speaking of keeping it real, I have to keep it real in this moment and tell you I think you are amazing. Thank you, baby. You are like my Thank hero. You. You're so sweet. I don't, and then you say to yourself, okay, do people like this really recognize the impact that they have on so many people. Like, oh, baby. you have inspired me to literally sit here at this table. Oh. I didn't even know I was the first Latina in daytime. Did you know this? Crazy. Yes. But you, you, you were someone I could look up to and be like, yo, if she could do it, I could do it. She's from the Bronx, I'm from New York, LES. But like, <laughs> everything you've done, every step of the way, you've done it with class and Thank dignity you. and integrity you. and yes. you're talented you. and you're hardworking and, um, fun. you are, and you're fun. <laughs> yes, you come yeah. out here slaying in outfits like that. <laughs> so, I love outfit. you. Yes. You, are you know, so back good. in the day when I was in 3LW, we did like MTV Cribs, you guys, and I had this huge poster of you in my bedroom, and I would walk by every day and be like, yo, if J-Lo could do it, I could do it. <laughs> Look at her. Looking right? nuts. <laughs> I'm like, if anybody ever tries to play themselves and act like you didn't wear hoop earrings, brush your baby hairs, get a spray tan to have the glow, you're lying. She's inspired everyone Thank to you. be fly yeah. on so many levels. Thank you, baby. Woo! So with that being said, I'm gonna start acting normal now. <laughs> get it together. I really want to know who has been your inspiration. Yeah. Oh gosh. Um, you know, when I was growing up, I loved all different types of performers. My mother was very into musicals, and she loved Barbara Streisand, so yes. that was one of mine. And she was a singer and an actress, and uh, became a director. So all those things are things that inspired me. But I loved performers like Tina Turner and James Brown and Janet Jackson and Madonna. Yes. You know, when I was coming up, that was. Like, amazing, Michael Jackson, people like that. So my career for me has like always kind of been emulated through those inspirations over the years. Great inspiration. I love, that. I love that. Jennifer, you have paved the way. I just, I'm still recovering from Adrian. Because I know all the, love, all the love from Adrian right now. But not only Adrian, so many other women yes. admire you, That's and you cool. paved the way for so many women. I know it, like, it feels like, oh, don't say it, but it's true. You even oh, inspired me. No, no stop it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, I, I feel so um, fortunate, so blessed to, you know, have been in this business as, as long as I've been in this business. I feel um, like every day my life is, is a dream, honestly. Mm -hmm. And to, to, to feel this kind of love and, you know, at this point after doing it for so many years is is honestly, it's, a, it's, it's mind blowing for me. It's well, mind blowing. Some of the hurdles, being a woman of color in your career. Well, it's funny, when I started, when I started, I, um, there was like nobody, like Rosie was out Rosie. there doing some acting and stuff like that. And you know, Rita Moreno back in the day yes. was, you know, it was like very yes, few yes. and far between of us. And I just, I just, in my mind, I knew that if I just was myself, Oh, that that was different than everybody else. Right. That was oh, doing it. Yeah. And so I never shied away from that. That was always a big part of things for me. It's like, I am from the Bronx. Yes. I am Puerto Rican. Yes. I am, you know. <laughs> and you're such an orgullo for us. I, I, no I, idea. Because I, I like, wear, you know, I like wear my Yankee hat everywhere. Yes. I, you know, I'm like, that's who I am. Mm -hmm. I don't try to be anything that I'm not. But I also was, was an artist. Mm -hmm. And so I just always tried to be better than everybody else. I tried, I, that was always my goal. It was like, and you were. be the best, be the best, mm -hmm. be the it, best you can be. It's not that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I also I love it. very much believe like you, you women in general, mm -hmm. but also artists, they're always put in a box. Yes. You know what I mean? It's always like about, you can only do this or only do that. And listen, if you're only a, a singer, that's fine. And if you only want to act, that's fine. But for me, I always felt like people always try to say, well, if you're, you know, when I started acting, you can't record an album. And I was like, no, 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 really, I, I, I want to record an album. I really, I know I can do it. I can do yeah. it. Yeah. I promise. And then it was like, okay, so then I got the chance to do that. And then it was like, okay, I'll do my live shows. Okay, I want to do branding. I want to I create a perfume. I, you know, worked in a perfume store when I was 16, and I have a lot of ideas. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? So, yeah. like, everything I did was, yeah. there was no, there was no box and there was no map for. And so... That was a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. You mm -hmm. don't you don't need so much to do something anybody's done before. You can blaze your own path. I heard Go that. Do whatever you want to do. I just have 
This could lead to so many people. I mean, because I may yeah. not ever get this chance again. When did you know, when do you think was the pivotal point that you made it? Like, was well, it that dress? Right. Oh, <laughs> don't bring me back like, to the yo, belly like, oh. In your yeah. mind. In my mind, there's been different moments. There was like when I was promoting my first album, um, If You Have My Love was a hit, so they yes. sent me to Europe, yes. Yes. right? And yes. on number six, yes. and I went to, <laughs> I went to, uh, I, I was up, it was middle of the night, I was jet lagged, and I went into the room where they had set up my clothes and shoes, mm. and there were so many shoes there. And I was like, and you know, I was like three or four in the morning, and so I couldn't sleep, you know. And, yeah, jet lag. And I'm just like wandered into this room where they had set up, and I was like, how did I get all these shoes? Wow. Like, I remember having no shoes, you know what I mean? Like, Jesus. having one Hello. pair of sneakers <laughs> and one pair of school shoes, yeah. and one, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, no, they were like, only, I have <laughs> so many shoes. And it was like, are these all for me? You know, it was it was moments like that yeah. where you realize where you started and where you got to, and, and, and that's yes. it's it's an amazing thing. So it's it never stops. I'm constantly, you know, amazed and su not surprised, but amazed at and 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 conscious and aware of how mind blowing my life is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I don't take it for granted for like one second. Yeah. I'm grateful. I love that. I'm that grateful. That is so dope. I'm grateful. I think so that's dope. why I keep grinding so hard. Yes, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> I was yeah. like, okay, let's keep going. What Can't else do we got to do? Awesome. <laughs> we gotta do? Yeah. I have to tell you, it has now become my favorite. Yeah. I, really? It is. Last week's episode, are you kidding me? When you crack a dude's neck and you yeah. land, <laughs> you rolled him up like a spring roll and I was like, no, no, she said a spring roll. She would say it's No, it's it's very intense. It's very intense. And every time we read a script, I was like, oh, I, I, I have to do that? Okay. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. What part is the hardest for you in the acting? I think for me, it's just the intensity every day. Because in television, it's like you, you ha every scene has to be so amazing because you want people to get hooked in and then the next episode. So it never stops. Yes. And you shoot so much in one day. Right. And me and Ray Liotta, who plays my captain yes. and who Hello. is my partner in crime, right. literally. Oh, right. Even Hello. though we're cops, we're partners in crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But the two of us are at this level of intensity all day, every day. And yeah. so it's emotionally exhausting. So I come home and I'm like, you know, I have the curly hair yeah. and I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm dirty and like I'm, I'm going all over New yeah. York all day. I'm sweaty. We're grimy when we come home. Yes. And I'm just like, I have to wash Harley off. Oh. But it's only for a few minutes because I feel like I wake up the next day at five, six o'clock in the morning and I'm mm, back on the set. Right. You know, and you have to do it all over again. But in that way, it's, 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 a, it's a challenging show. But we, we but love it. But you look it. good in it, yeah. though. Yeah. That's that's good. Good. I'm like, oh, you look amazing. Wait, you, I, I, I feel like so sexy oh, with yeah. that robe. Don't I feel look. like another person. I'm like, I, I'm like, who is that? You know, and I love acting. You know, and I yeah, know that's yes. the whole. You, that's the whole idea yeah. of it. You're not supposed to see J Lo when you're yes. watching that. Yes. You're supposed to Absolutely. feel Harley, yeah. and you do. So I'm proud of that. But at the same time, I look at it and I go, <laughs> ill. You know what I mean? Like, I'm used to more being, you know, dressed up, and I'm like. Well, we have like to that. say congratulations, Jennifer, because Shades of Blue returned this past Sunday, you guys. Yes. And it was number one. Number it was number one. one. So congratulations. Yes. Number one. You were number one. A viewing party we at your did. house. We had a tweet party. Who was there? Everybody was there. I'm Everybody honest. was there. The whole cast was there. Most of the cast. Ray was uh, accepting an award. Yeah, there's me and Drea. Awesome. Leah had come over. Um, yeah. Derek Huff, who I'm doing World of Dance with. Yes. But um, all the cast was there. Dio was there. Um, Vinny was there. Yeah. It was great. Did you get nervous when you're watching your scenes? Well, no, I was like, everybody, I'm acting. Shh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, besides the TV show, you also have a residency in Las Vegas, which I, I went to go see. Yes, you did. And was amazing. Yo, yes. when that six train comes out, yes. my mom was there. We were like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, we were going crazy. What is your favorite song to perform on the show? Oh, God, I don't know. I, I, you know, the whole show for me is. A dream come true. Yes. A dream come true. I've always wanted to do a show like this. And when you tour, a lot of times you don't, you can't carry sets like that no. everywhere across the world. So you have to modify the show. And it's like lights and video and that's it. And a few mm -hmm. risers and your band. But here, I really got to like create a beautiful show with yeah. sets and all this. And 
it's like a fantasy. It's like a fantasy. How do you balance all of that? Because you're a mother, yes. you're an actress, you're a performer, you're I a am. singer. Yes. Yeah. One oh. thing to tell women out there on how to balance. How to do it all. It's, it's difficult. You know, it's, I'm, it's not like I don't have help. I have help. Mm -hmm. And there is, it's like when they say it takes a village, it takes a village. I have, you know, my mom and my sisters yeah. help out at times. I have, you know, a, a, a nanny, Jess. I don't even like to call her a nanny because she's like part of the family, right. mm -hmm. you know, and Ethan who help out with Max and Emmy. And so like I'm always, you know, they're always first. When you put yes, them first, right. then everybody understands yes. the hierarchy. Yes. And they know that. And by the way, the kids feel that. Yes. They feel it, even though, you know, like my son said to me, <laughs> he said to me, he said to me this week, he goes, um, Mom, I'd like to schedule. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'd like to schedule a picnic with you this week. I oh. He goes, because I know you've been, you know, working hard, because I've been doing all the shows and promoting yeah. for the premiere. Sure. Uh, and we went to New York, and he knows that and everything. And he was with me in New York, but still, he was like, um, I'd like to schedule a picnic for next Friday, because we need, we need more quality time. And I was like, oh. okay, baby. So we have a You're picnic. romantic. You're yes. good. We love talking with you at the girl chat table. This is the best moment it's ever right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to play the game where two contestants set out to prove who's the ultimate fan. This is Who Knows You Better. Hey! Yeah. Okay, people, today we have two <laughs> contestants who both happen to be from New York City. From the Lower East Side. Elias up in Woo! the East. And Jennifer from the Bronx. Yeah. All right, now, ladies, it's very simple. We're going to ask several questions mm -hmm. about the unrivaled superstar, Jennifer Lopez. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And at the end of the round, whoever can buzz in and prove that they know her the best. We'll win this battle and be crowned the ultimate is, Jennifer Lopez yeah, fan. That's right. Yes. That is right. That's right. That is right. That that's is right. Correct. That's how All it's right. gonna go down. Okay. Let's make it a clean match, ladies. Then beware. <laughs> if any point you buzz in and the answer is wrong, your opponent will get the chance to steal. Okay. That's right. Yeah, Are you ready. ladies ready? to steal it. No. No? <laughs> get ready. All right, enough chattering. Let's begin this. Here's your first question, <laughs> ladies. Jennifer was a dancer in which Janet Jackson music video? Adrian. Duh, that's the way love goes. This is just what we're talking to you, Janet. <laughs> okay. That's, that's the way love right. goes. That's the way love goes. goes. My buzzer is good. Very good. good. Very good. good. My buzzer is good. Don't be hating. Okay. Okay. Your buzzer is not working. Okay. 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 <laughs> Next question. <laughs> if I lose this game. Please, Jennifer. <laughs> At what age did Jennifer appear as a fly girl on the third season of In Living Color. Adrian, right. I hope. It's Adrian, Adrian. 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 Get my name right. I'm just <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 20. 20? What? She didn't say 20! Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, she what? was just 20. I don't know. Oh, no. oh, 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 I was not 20. How old were you? I was 23. Okay, fine. Oh. Okay, oh. okay, all right. <laughs> Wrong answer, a point. All right, she gets one point. Wrong answer. She got oh, one point. point. That's okay. it. That was one. That's it. <laughs> okay. But you know this means they're tied. One to one. This okay. okay. <laughs> wait for wait for okay. the tiebreaker. Here it comes. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Next question. Okay. Jennifer was on the very first cover of Latina magazine in what year? That's easy. Oh! Adrian. 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 That was Adrian. What a surprise. Adrian. Um, 1996, and I know this because I have it framed. I have it. I had savage the actual copy. That is correct! 1996. <laughs> Yes, and Adrian, you appeared on the cover in 2014. Are you playing with us? Are you sure? I actually would have got it wrong. I was going to say 1997. You got to get this one. You got to get this one. Here we go. Yes. Which one of Jennifer's twins, my babies, was born first, Max or Emmy? That's it. Come on. I got to get this one. me. I got it. Did I get it? Jennifer. I saw Jennifer. You saw Adrian. I saw Emmy was born first. One minute before Max. That's right. It was 1224 in the morning. It was night, but it was morning, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. 1222. Wow. I'm feeling some stalkerism. 1222 at 1222. That's right. Yes. The score is tied two to two, you guys. Okay. I like knowing these things. 
James. This you know? is it. Okay. Jennifer plays an FBI agent on Shades of Blue. Yes. Name the U.S. Marshal. She played Ooh. in Out of Sight. Oh, oh that was a great move. I hit that first. I hit that you first. You did. <laughs> Karen Sisko. That's right. Karen Sisko! George Clooney. Is this the baby? In the trunk with go. <laughs> well, folks, that's the game. Jennifer and Adrian, thank you for playing. I don't know Thanks what so happened. Much. I gotta fix that, okay? <laughs> now, I don't know if we should call security because it, it sounds Maybe. pretty clear that Adrian okay. is a huge fan, all right? <laughs> Jennifer, you never know. You may learn a thing or two from her. She See? really loves you. Hang out with too, you. Okay? <laughs> the return of her critically acclaimed NBC drama, Shades of Blue. And today, we're excited to have one of her co-stars here, too. Please give it up for Vincent What Loresca. the hell? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a try at fashion. Welcome to the show, yes. Vincent. Hi, yes. oh, thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Great to have you. Handsome. To be I like you, uh, that. Thank you. 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 I like it. I like, like it. it. Woman <laughs> power. I feel empowered. Yeah. Yeah. star of the show. You're also the executive producer. What yes. was it about Shades of Blue that was so appealing to you? Well, I was going to produce it. It came across my desk to produce, yeah. first of all. So I was never intending to star in it or be in it at all. Mm. And then, um, I don't know, as time went on and we were developing it, you know, I, I can always picture myself in the role of Harley. It was a great role. But when we sat down with NBC, he was like, I, I love this script. He was like, but if, if, I, he, if I could get you, somebody like you to do it, he was mm -hmm. like, he made us an offer we couldn't refuse. And I was like, and then I had to make a decision. And I was like, you know what? There's some great stuff in movies and stuff like that, but there's no role like this out there. Wow. Yeah. Your character is in love with your partner, who is yes. played by Dre DiMatteo, who is so sexy. She's yes. so hot in this role. <laughs> Beautiful. All the women are showing. Yes, yes. this is true. <laughs> Lucky you. I know. And yeah. you guys even hooked up on the show. We did, we did. We so did. I want to know what's coming up in, for your relationship in the show. Well, what happens in the first season is like my character, you know, he's like kind of like a big time teddy bear right. with, with his crew, but on the streets, he's a tough guy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he saw like the way her husband was treating her and he was like, I could treat her better. But what happens in the second season is I think he decides like it's better to not, you know what, where you eat, you know? Right. So yeah, right. he, mm -hmm. he decides that he has this deep love for her, but it's better to be like a sisterly love than you know, a passionate relationship kind of uh, love. Okay. Got it. Okay. So stay tuned, because mm -hmm. I feel like in your eyes, something, something. <laughs> okay, something. 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 Jennifer, something. what can we expect this season? I mean, this season, like, last year was a crazy roller coaster, but I called this, I, I, I always said that when I was promoting it last year, but this year's, like, kind of a hurricane, tornado <laughs> situation. <laughs> it's like we have more outside threats. We're fractured from within because mm. it got out that I was the informant. You know, it gets mm -hmm. out like Waz knows at the beginning that I was the informant. Yes. So our relationship is really damaged, and yes. it's about the arc of the this one. One of the arcs of the season is about that and how where our relationship goes from now. Because he's like a father to me. I've been like a daughter to him, and now we feel like we can't. He can't trust me, and I, I'm, I want forgiveness from him and, and redemption. And it's it's just it's it's a really really tough. You know, uh, we tell you road back. Let's say yes. that's the, your. It's 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 good. It's <laughs> it's, it's suspenseful. Yeah. It's sexy. Mm. Yeah. And it's funny. Now we all know how fashionable she is. So we are super excited that she agreed to help us out with a makeover surprise for one of her biggest fans, Rebecca. Here's her story. Hi ladies, my name is Rebecca Gomez and I'm a police sergeant with the San Gabriel Police Department. I've been a police officer for almost nine years now and I'm a mother of two. I have a two-year-old son and a 19-year-old daughter. I'm very busy, I work full-time, sometimes I'm working 60 hours a week and uh, I've got to keep up with my toddler. It's really easy to lose myself and all the work. I would really love a makeover just because it would really help me boost my confidence. It'd also be great for my husband to see me, how I used to get dressed up. My go-to items are my mom uniform, which is just really loose flannel shirts, t-shirt and jeans, a lot of the times yoga pants, unfortunately. My go-to look would be anything that's similar to Jennifer Lopez, I love her, a bronzy, dewy, effortless look. 
She always looks so well done, uh, simple yet sexy. Jennifer Lopez is the epitome of feminine, so I would love to be able to kind of look like her, although no one can compare, really. I am so excited for this makeover because it is so outside my comfort zone. It's gonna be something completely different that I've never done. Well, Rebecca, the Slay Squad is here to help. On hair is Micah B, on makeup is AJ Crimson, and wardrobe is Oakley Stevenson. And if that isn't enough, with the help of our Slay Squad, Rebecca has no idea J-Lo will have the final say on her complete look. <laughs> I am so excited for this. We're here with Rebecca's husband, Enrique, who, uh, you guys, I know you're super excited, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> He's ready to see her new look, but you guys, we need to let you in on a little secret. Rebecca has been backstage all morning getting glammed up. She has no idea Jennifer Lopez is here to surprise her. Mm -hmm. And I found out, you just found out that, yeah. that she was here too. Right now. <laughs> this He's hearing this for the first time. <laughs> all right, so let's get to it. To remind everyone what she looked like before, let's beam in our Hollaback hologram. All right. Okay. The time has come. Rebecca, get on out here. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much. It's beautiful. I, it's Aww. like seeing her again for the first time. It's just. <laughs> Rebecca, you look absolutely Stunning. amazing. Beautiful. Thank Gorgeous. You. Like, like, I literally looking at your body in this, I was like, oh my gosh. Excuse my expression, but I was okay. like, oh my god. Okay. Okay. How was it spending the entire day pampering yourself? You know, it was just absolutely amazing. I never get a chance to do anything like this, so it was unreal. I mean, absolutely unreal. It's such a great opportunity. I was. I had a great time. Oh, wow. Yay. You look great. Thank you. Do. You look great. You know, our glam squad killed it today. Thank you so much Thank to you. Micah, AJ, and Oakley. Yes. Thank you. you. guys did an amazing job. You look so good. But, Rebecca, I have to be honest with you. This is the real. There's one more person yes. who oversaw your makeover. Uh, she's a fashion and yep. beauty superstar who heard your story and really wanted to help. Do you want to meet her? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you look nervous. You're like, wait. I was nervous to begin with. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Come on out. Were you styled by Miss Jennifer Lopez? We this is from her line. Yes. 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 We're dressed the same. This Hi, is how you? are you? Nice to meet you. So, is Rebecca, I mean, is there anything you would like to say? Absolutely, thank you so much. Such a, such a, it's a beautiful outfit. I am like more than grateful for this opportunity to just get a chance to pamper myself. It's, it's been a while and I feel beautiful and I can't wait to take my husband out for <laughs> You gotta go. I can't wait for dinner tonight. You gotta go do Love something. Date night. Okay, Rebecca, Date night. we've covered up all the mirrors backstage, so you haven't seen yourself yet. Are you ready to see your new look? Yes, let's do this. All right, we got her and A. Will you please do us the honor of Here taking Rebecca over to the mirror what do you do and let her mirror? see her beautiful self. Turn it around. <laughs> All right, whenever you ladies are ready, go for it. We're ready. Here it goes. <laughs> Incredible. Um, 
amazing, absolutely amazing. It's a complete transformation. It doesn't even look like me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> a better, much better version of me. Jennifer, yes. you are uh, a singer, a dancer, an actress, and now you're a makeover stylist. Yes, you are. Yes. You do it all, girl. Yes. 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 Is there any, awesome. any words you would like to say to Rebecca? Nothing. I mean, you know, when you're a mom and you're a working mom and you're a cop, Yes. You know, so she's out there doing good for everybody. You deserve things like this. You should pamper yourself more. Yeah. It's my yeah. honor and my pleasure to be able to help out with this in any way I could. Amazing. Aww. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Aww. 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 AJ, Micah Oakley, and of course, the one and only Jennifer Lopez. You guys played that makeup.